guys. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today we have a movie review. Yes, we do. The movie is Kingpin. It came out in 1996. It was done by the same guys who did Dumb and Dumber. I didn't know that. At the time, I might have watched it. Now, if you know me, if you watch any of my movie reviews, you know I'm not a professional. I don't dig in there deep like a lot of these guys. I also don't remember lines. I ain't going to do all that. I got my handy dandy trusty notebook. Right here. Okay? Handy dandy trusty notebook. I got my screen behind me here where I can kind of read some stuff as well. So, let's get to the story. Wrong. Let's get to the cast. I'm not going to go through them all. There's a whole big cast of people. I'm just going to go through the main handful of people like I always do. We have Woody Harrelson, who plays Roy Munson. We have Randy Quaid, who plays Ishmael. We have Vanessa Angel, who plays Claudia. We have Bill Murray, who plays Ernie McCracken. We have Chris Elliott, who plays the Gambler. And we have Lynn Shane. Who plays the landlady? You will know Lynn Shane from a lot of things, uh, and we'll get into that in a little bit. So that is the cast, and there's other people in there as well. But we just went over the main ones. Now I'm just going to give you the quick plot synopsis story, like super condensed. A star bowler whose career was permanently cut off, hopes to ride a new prodigy to success and riches. I think we're all smart enough to know where this probably goes. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is give you my thoughts on these main characters. Handy dandy trust notebook notes, all that good stuff. So let's get it going. Of course Woody Harrelson plays Roy Munson. I'm not sure anyone else could do this character justice. Woody has that certain characteristic charm, delivery, attitude, charisma, something he seems to bring pretty much in anything he's in. Who would have thought the big breakout star from Cheers would have been Woody Harrelson? Never would have thought it. But he does his character well. He goes through some hardships, some bad times, some good times, and all that stuff. And he does a really good job. And classic uh, Woody Harrelson. Now we have the insane, the crazy, the wacky, and yeah, that guy. Anyway, Randy Quaid as Ishmael. What can you say about Randy Quaid? I mean, he is... Cousin Eddie. He's always had that way of taking a character and making it interesting. Uh, as with this character, it's classic Randy Quaid isms mixed in with uh, the character he's playing. And in my opinion, he does a really good job. And he's still a really good, he looks in really good shape in this movie. You actually kind of see him a little bit. And he looks in really good shape. In this movie, I'm really surprised uh, because, if I'm not mistaken, Independence Day was like '96 or '97, '98, something like that, and he looks a lot different in the, in uh, that movie, just in that short time frame. But it, it, surprisingly, he looks pretty good in this movie, you know, uh, and he does the character great. So, if you like Randy Quaid, you're gonna like his character. Like the guy or not, he is legendary. No matter if he's been in some weirdness over the past few years or not. Now we have Vanessa Angel as Claudia. Honestly, I'm not familiar with her, but she did well with this character. She, she keeps you unsure and guessing at times uh, about who she sides with uh, and seems to connect well with her sidekicks. And she's hot. We, we might want to put that in there. 
not bad to look at. Now we have the legendary Bill Murray as Ernie McCracken. What can you say about Murray that hasn't been said over the last 40 years? He takes his shady character and breathes the life into him like only Murray can. You know, if you've seen Bill Murray in one movie, a lot of times he's that character in a lot of movies. He just kind of has that attitude, that way about him, that sarcasm, that just kind of, you know how he is with the way he delivers lines and his, uh, just the way he does. That's how he does this character. It's not, it's not crazy over the top, but it's over the top. <laughs> uh, he looks crazy in here uh, towards the end of the movie. And uh, next we got Chris Elliott as the gambler. He doesn't have a big part in the movie, but he's always the same crazy, quirky, weird kind of guy. If you know Chris Elliott, uh, I'm a fan of Chris Elliott all the way from, you know, like David Letterman when he used to be on there all the time. I'm just a fan of his weird humor that he does. He's just, uh, he's good to me. I like him. Um, if you don't know much about him, go watch Cabin Boy and go watch, I believe, Scream 2 uh, is the one that he's in where they're in the Haunted Mansion. Hilarious. Good stuff. Now we're getting on to Lynn Shea as Landlady. I've never seen Shay play a more gross character. I know her from her appearances in horror films. She's well known in that genre anymore. I don't know about early on. I haven't really looked up anything on her. But I know her mostly from she's that woman you look at and go, she's always in horror films. That's kind of what she knows she's known for. She takes this character and owns it. She's snappy, weird, witty, gross. She's on point and brings new meaning to the word gross. <laughs> she really does. So uh, now we're going to move on to basically kind of what I feel about the movie. Uh, the movie seems over the top, but with the likes of Anchorman, it brings realism to the subject. Bowling. Like, like Anchorman did with that profession. It's a cult classic to anchor men and those in that business, from what I recall. It seems like I've read things and seen things on TV about it and all that, and, and it's like it's the movie that they just, you know, it connects with them and they all love it and watch it. So, and I believe the same is probably true uh, for Kingpin uh, to Bowling. It's, it's probably a movie that they go to, so, you know, big boulders. Uh, the feel of the movie is real. It just feels like it's really happening, like it really happened to these guys, and all this is going on, and it, it was interesting. It, it seems behind the scenes and in front of the camera that uh, it, it's just legit. It seems like they followed real bowlers around uh, and just paid attention to their lives. <laughs> it's kind of what it seems like. Uh, the film moves nice and fast, keeping you entertained the whole time. I never felt bored, and a lot of times I do with movies. I just, I kind of do. I never wanted to watch this, as it just didn't look interesting. But, uh, however, I'm glad I did. It's enjoyable and surprised me. That's always a plus for me. I've, I've flipped past this movie a hundred times in my life. And never cared to watch it. I've heard people talk about it. And, you know, it just, it, and it reminds me of The Big Lebowski. And I just watched that, actually, like this past summer, I believe. And I didn't care for that too much. But I did care for this. So, I'm not going to go into details about, like, the set design and cinematography and the lighting, etc., etc. It's just all done really well. There's nothing really bad about any of it it just it, it's a great movie it really is uh i'm gonna put this as a cult classic 
kind of status movie for me now. Um, I can actually see me watching it again, which is great, uh, since it's a movie I never thought that I would watch anyway. So, if you haven't given Kingpin a try, give it a shot. It's actually really good. It does have some uh, uh, kind of gross adult humor in there and all that, but it's it doesn't uh, it doesn't rule the film. It's just in some spots it, it does some stuff. Um, no real nudity or anything like that. Just some kind of, you know, stuff. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, yeah, give the movie a shot. I think you'll enjoy it. I'm gonna give this movie a solid four point five out of five. Yes, I am. And I'm sticking to it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoy all my videos. Go check them out. I have lots of movie reviews, photography, art, bicycle riding, discussions, video games, cooking, whatever. I try to keep it flowing and keep it going. Get up. Get out. Get ready. Do it to it. Even when reviewing a movie you were never going to see in a million years, and you enjoyed it. We'll see you later. Now go watch that movie.